The furlough scheme has yet again been extended, which is fantastic news for you, the employer, and you as the employee. Check out this video as I go through all of the essential elements. Hi everyone, my name is Simon Mishevich from Optimize Accountants. I'm here to help you grow your wealth whilst reducing your tax liability. And in this particular video, we are talking about the extended furlough scheme, which is the job retention scheme or the job coronavirus scheme. Whatever you might call it, it is the enablement of you getting money as an employer or indeed at you as the employee. And this is really about putting health before finances. Now, I know it's tempting to say, well, we should put money first. But at the same time, there's no point of being dead without with money in our bank accounts. And there are things that you need to know as an employer as well as an employee. Now, I have written an article about the furlough scheme. I do regularly keep that up to date. So please make sure you go and check that website out. There is a link that's appearing above my head right now, but also in the body of the description. And then there is the video, which is very relevant if you want to make a claim on the job retention scheme, how to go about doing it. That's really important. So do check out that video. That will help you get there. And then we talk about the job support scheme as well. Again, all the links will be below this video. Now, the job or the coronavirus job retention scheme, furlough, whatever you like to call it, was extended to the 31st of March. It's now been extended till the 30th of April 2021. So that date has now been improved and put forward. We have got to be mindful that you are, are if as an employer, you will have responsibilities. As an employee, you too have responsibilities and it's sometimes difficult to get the employer and the employee to sit down and have a good conversation. And that's why I do think it's worth speaking to your HR specialist team to help you to understand your rights, whether you're an employer or you're an employee. And look at a website called ACAST. There are links below this website, the video, so go and check that out. Now we talk about different businesses and tax and how you should do that. I'm live every Wednesday to talk about all these elements. So you can ask me free flying conversations at exactly what's going on with the job retention scheme, what's gonna happen with my business, uh, what investment business decisions do I need to make? How, will, how does that affect my tax? Well, those are on our online tax portal. So feel free to subscribe to that. You can see me this Wednesday whilst enjoying the 28 day free trial. So why not take advantage of it? Now the furlough scheme has an impact, whether you are full time or part time as an employee, you might be moved from being full time to being part time and you will be able to get allowances for that. Your employer will also get some grant funding, which they can then provide to you as the employee. You as the employee may be moved from full time to no time. So you go from a full time position to, to either part time and you may even be asked to not work at all and stay at home. It's really important if you are being asked to stay at home that you do not do any work at all. Do not feel pressured by your employer, by the way, because we have heard some horror stories about that, where fraud cases are coming out that employers are asking employees to stay at home, asking them to do work or lose the risk of their job, and then getting money for it. I think that's a scandalous thing going on. And as taxpayers are picking up that bill, thank you very much. Um, and fellow directors, you do have responsibilities now. If you are a director of your own limited company, you could put yourself on furlough and get paid your minimum wage that you've been probably been charging your company. Now, you can only do that if there's a legitimate reason for you to do that. So if you're a director and you've got lots of employees still working, can you put yourself on furlough? Well, that's hard to justify because your staff will need you. And if they put calls into you for support, then clearly you're still working. So Directors, please do take some uh, breaths before you make a decision to put yourself on furlough and from a commerciality perspective say, is this really realistic? For most people, I would say it's not. Now, the one thing about the furlough job retention scheme, it was meant to have finished in October 2020. Well, that uh, was going to be ending 
and then quickly followed on by the job support scheme, which I'm sure the government spent a lot, a lot of time working out what that's meant to be. But clearly that could not happen because we've been in several lockdowns. So there's been a number of changes that's gone on. And you'll notice that the job retention scheme, which we've got there here, I'm just going to use my laser pointer. This uh, job retention scheme wasn't as generous as the first job retention scheme. But now we've gone into this extra job retention scheme from the 1st of November and looks to be extended now to the 30th of April. That particular job retention scheme allows you to have 80% of your wages up to 2,500 paid, whereby this one is very much a reduction. We've done other videos on that, but since it's the past, let's move on. And we talked about the job support scheme. Well, can there ever be now a job support scheme? I doubt it. I think it was one of those that the government tried to put into place, but in reality, it may need not ever see light of day. Now, when we come to the fellow scheme being extended to the April 31st, the key dates is from, it's from the 1st of November to the 30th of April 21, which means that you have to put in your monthly grant request to HMRC using the online portal. Again, remember, I've created a video for that, so do go check that out. Eligibility, staff cannot be working. You cannot ask your staff members to be at home. You as an employee cannot be asked to stay at home if you've been furloughed altogether and still work. That doesn't work. Uh, you have to be a UK business, be on the payroll from October 2020. So if you have started in November, December, you are not going to get this uh, furlough scheme for your um, situation. Uh, you're also, there's no need to have been using the old CGRS scheme either. So the coronavirus job retention scheme. There was no need to be on the one that was in August as an example. This is from fresh. So as long as you've been on payroll since October, then you'll be eligible. Financials. So here we go. So the employees pay national insurance, bonuses and commissions. What HMRC are going to be paying is the standard salary. So nothing more than that. And the government will pay 80% of the wages up to a cap of 2,500. There were a, um, a 1,000 pound job retention bonus for each employee. Well, that's now gone uh, into the skip. No one will get that bonus. Don't forget, if you want to talk about the job retention scheme, how you'd use it as an employer, or indeed you as an employee, you want to get some uh, legal advice, then feel free to book a call with us. We can give you the backgrounds to all of this information and what you now need to do going forward. So make sure you use the code YouTube25 to get your 25% discount. So let's go through an ex example then of the job retention scheme. And here we've got the normal pay of £30,000, sorry. You'll notice this line is salary for a year and we are talking about per month. So I've just done a quick pro rata in there for you. Uh, you got £30,000 salary, and that breaks down to £2,500 per month. That's hunky-dory. That's easy to work out. Now what we've got to work out is it's 80% or 2500 which is the lower amount. That's what you are going to be paid. On an annual basis, £24,000 of 80% of £30,000, which is £2,000. So that seems fine, doesn't it? Because ultimately, we are going to get that full amount. It's below the 2,500. It's bang on 80% of that 25. Absolutely fine to get that paid from the government to the employee via the employer. What remains unpaid is £500. This means that 20% will be unpaid for that employee earning £30,000 salary. What we do need to think about is someone being paid £40,000 salary. Now again, similar kind of values, what we've got to look at is, well, how much is going to be unpaid? In this regard, per month, it's going to be limited to 2,500, not the 3,333 or 80% of the 333. In fact, they will have unpaid 833 pounds, which is 25% will be unpaid by the employee um, or paid to the employee. It, the more salary you have, the less money you will receive from HMRC. So that's a quick video. I didn't want to create a lengthy video on this subject, but hopefully you found it useful. If you do have any questions as an employer or indeed as an employee, 
Get your questions in. How, are you being placed furloughed? Have you been treated fairly? I, do you understand the system? Please make sure you comment and I will make sure that I will reply back to you. Uh, and don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to this channel. And I shall see you on the next video. My name is Simon Mishevich from Optimize Accountants. I'll see you again soon.